Hi, this video shows you how to implement an OPC communication inside the Ellipse E3 system. This is how the OPC communication works. There is a PLC which is connected to a machine with an OPC server. This OPC server is usually a program supplied by the PLC provider and it's connected to an OPC client. The client receives data from the server, which in turn receives data from the PLC. In this architecture, the Ellipse E3 works as an OPC client, which is, is the most common use. But in some cases, the Ellipse E3 can also be used as an OPC server, providing data to the OPC client. In this example, we will show you how to use the Ellipse SCADA as an OPC server. First, you will open an Ellipse SCAD application with a few tags, and then you will use these tags inside the Ellipse E3 via OPC server client communication. Opening the Ellipse SCAD, this application has two RAM tags which are similar to Ellipse E3's internal tags. These RAM tags are linked to two set points on the screen. Your goal is to run the Ellipse SCAD application and change the values in these set points and as a result to see this change happening inside the Ellipse E3 too. The Ellipse SCADA will work as an OPC server and the Ellipse E3 as an OPC client. Opening Ellipse E3. Now you will access the server objects from inside the organizer. Right click drivers and OPC and insert an OPC driver to your project. For the OPC driver, you need to select an OPC server. This can be either a network server or a local server. In this example, you use a local server to access the Ellipse SCADA OPC server. Here is the Ellipse SCADA OPC server. Now you will activate the communication and then import the tags. This will require an OPC group, which is a simple folder to organize your tags. To create one, click Yes. A screen is then displayed to enable the automatic tag detection. Click Yes. You can search for specific items by name, or you can search them by data type, integer, long, single, null, or any value, or by access type, like read, write, read and write, or any value. Then click Fetch to list all available tags in the server. In this example, there are only two tags available, tag 1 and tag 2. Select any tag you want from this list. If necessary, you can select the whole folder too. Click them and drag them to the OPC group. Now all the tags are loaded inside the OPC. Then click OK. Their values are zero. You will then activate the Ellipse SCADA communication and check the change inside the Ellipse E3. Attribute any value to tag 1, like 1, 2, 3. You can see that the same value is displayed in the Ellipse E3. Now do the same thing to the tag 2. Thanks for watching and subscribe.